Hello everyone, Timmy here. So I'm just going to show you uh, the walkthrough through this um, Cloud DevOps projects for um, CI CD pipelining. So this I have my own repo here. You can clone yours, clone from the starter project or fuck it into your repository. So this is how it is. I've uh, created a detailed documentation for you to go through. I don't think with this you should have any issues getting set up. Although I'm going to be seeing a few things and then I've also set up an image workflow here so you can see the outcome or the expected output. So I'll see a few things that are very, very key. One is uh, before you do anything, I would like to speak on versions. So first thing first, open my Azure portal and then open the shell. I'm just going to expand this so that we can all see clearly while this is going on. I want to... Uh, a key info here is uh, the startup projects doesn't come with the, should I say, uh, the Python requirements that will work. So you probably have to fix that. I have an image in my repository for all the requirements I used that works properly. And then you could also see it in my requirement.txt file. So First things first, I'm just going to assume you clone here with the SSH. So you could uh, do the SSH keygen, set up your SSH and all of that. We already know the steps to that. And then I have mine cloned. So I'm just going to list here and see my Cloud DevOps projects. I can log into that. Um, when you're in, so sorry about that. I'm just going to, this is everything I have inside of that project. I uh, probably want to be <clears throat> in the uh, virtual environment. So I'm just going to source this. Let's source, I get to create one. You know how to create virtual environments, so I um, expect to use the VEMV since it's already pre installed on the cloud shell. So I named my VEMV, and then you can just do the random in and activate. So once you're in here, yeah, and then you have the, everything uh, loaded. Yeah, good, good to go. So you could just do the make all and then see the results. And then, okay, I have mine installed. So the requirements and text is, uh, requirement, text requirement is uh, up to date. So you can see here, I have, I've been rated a 10 over 10. So let's just go back here and then what's, uh, so, the step I just went through is what we call is uh is what they call the scaffolding. And then what I like to do is probably after starting this up, I just try to make sure I can run the application. So just to ensure that there are no um errors and then nothing is broken. You could actually still see this. I'm just going to open a new portal here. I'm just going to open a new portal. And uh, oh, what I'll have this doing is just sh showing me the logs. So for me to get to that, I could easily, instead of going all through the long process, just check. Uh, let me not talk about the app service installed first. So I have my running. I could open a new cloud shell and uh, use the new cloud shell to test and see that I can make predictions. That is, it's the make prediction. So if I list, you could just go into the, I don't want to waste time doing this, but you could just go into create a, uh, go into the virtual environment and then list it out. So I'll just come out of this. Use control C to cancel out of here and then list. Um, what you probably want to do on the other shell while this is running is um, run the key okay, where you, yeah. So this make prediction this is the one with the local running of prediction. Once the prediction is visible, you're good to go. So you could actually just uh, upload the web app and the command for that will be the AZ web. I think already I started typing it out. Okay, so I have that here already. So I have AZ web app up. 
and then i'm using the b1 not the free tier because i had a little issue with the free tier and the resource group i'm using okay one thing i should probably state is you should already have a resource group set up so that you do not have any issues when creating this uh when launching the the shell for the first time, it's going to probably tell you to uh, create a storage because I don't think you can do this without a storage first. So you could just do a quick setup for the storage and use the location closest to you or that has all the dependencies you require. So that's that about that. I have no errors. My app's running. I could push this to the web. This will run for a while and then show you the results. You could check the results by going into uh, the deployed web app and then try to see if you could access the sites. If there are no errors, your site is going to be done. So you can see I have zero errors here. And then um, this is my actual data coming in. I could just wait for this to load it. It's okay. So I could access the URL and you can see that yes, my site is live and then it's running. Okay, that being said, the next thing we are going to want to do is uh make predictions for the new site. So I'll just go back to I'll go back here and instead of this, I'm going to be having the make predictions for the app that's running so i'm on port 443 and then my prediction came out correctly so we're good to go um next this is the whole step for the continuous integration i failed to mention that uh just here yeah, github action i created a github action from the start so we have it running and testing out so let's see so this is the main build and you can see it's installed the dependencies and all of that. So we're just going to create a pipeline. Um, I'm assuming you already have a De DevOps account. If you don't have that, it's easy to get. You can just go back to your portal. So I'm just going to bring this down a bit so that you can see what I'm saying. Um, the big boy doesn't want to come down. So. Here, there's a search, you can search for Azure DevOps organizations <clears throat> and then creating an account. If you already have one, you could just log into your account and you'll be greeted with screen. You have to create um, an organization. So mine is FFF to me and then you can create a new project. So I already have one created. One thing I would like to emphasize when doing this is uh, you probably want to go to before going to your pipelines, you want to go to the project setting when you've created this project and uh, go to settings and then just let's see. So I'm going to use the service connections and then just create a service connection for this app. So it's actually for your subscription and all of that. So you can see here I have a cloud connects. Just make sure the name you use here is a name you can remember. So Make sure it's all set up. Uh, just a moment. So, once that is done, you're good to go. Sorry, I had a call. So, you can go back to the overview. And uh, let's see. If I go back to this, I can go back into my projects add projects i already have one running they can go to pipelines on the pipeline you have to create a new pipeline when creating this in the first instance you're going to be greeted with so many things so you could easily just run through them as stated in the documentation is also on the github uh, repository in case you need you need clarification on that so if you have that set up you use the run Although I was having errors here, so let me show you. I was having errors here. And what I did about that was I went back to my project settings and then I quickly went to parallel jobs. So I'm using a free account, a free, a free DevOps account. I think I saw so many errors like this on the whole project standpoint. So 
right here my microsoft hosted was zero and then i think you require one since i'm using a free account so i'm just going to change when you change takes you to a new page you can easily just uh sticking a while so what you want to change okay to actually to set up billing and all of that once you're done with that the one you want to change is the ms hosted so you just change it from zero to one save that and then you should be good to go so your project should now run should run fine once that is that you run the pipeline and you can see in my case the build is successful so this was the last build just moments ago i have a build and then the app is deployed so this will create a file called azure pipelines for you and there's probably one thing you want to do before you make if you're making predictions and it's not working so you want to go to the make prediction that is from your cloud shell and then change this with the name of your web app so on my cloud shell if i have one open so i'm going to leave this um see okay good so on my cloud shell <clears throat> i'm going to just do the cuts and then open the make predicts to azure and then you can see it here so i changed this to the name of my um web app once that is done yeah yeah almost done with the project and then i think with this you should be able to um uh, have continuous integration and continuous um delivery because if i look here you can see okay it's good so this probably because i have no change if i make any change let's say i decide to change a particular file so i'm just going to let's just make a change to the readme and i'm just going to remove the plan sets so i'm going to edit this and quickly say a link to a trello so I'm going to do this live. I need the link to my YouTube, okay? Instead of setting that, so let me just remove the key there since I'm going to still be removing this and add the screencast I'm doing. And then I'm going to write a commit message, which I want to ignore for now, and then commit. Once that is done, and you go back here, you can see it starts running automatically. The green shows it's running. So some checks haven't been completed yet. The automation is working perfectly. You could check the details. You can see exactly what it's doing, the build job. And while this is going on, the pipeline will also commence. So yes, you can see it's the pipeline is also running and you're good to go. Continuous integration, continuous development. If you have any questions about the project, uh, probably okay. So if it's running, then when it's done, the build will be successful. If you have any issue creating, although everything in here is very, very detailed, then you can reach me out. My details are on my repo. Have a blast. Happy coding.